everybody, welcome back to another Bama Saltwater Fishing episode. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, don't forget to go hit that subscribe button down below and I welcome you to my channel. If you already have, I really appreciate you. All right, I got some mirror lures tied up. I'm gonna try for some speckled trout, redfish, whatever is gonna bite right now. Personally, I don't care. I just wanna get some bite, but I would like some nice trout. So I'm gonna throw some of these mirror lures and see what we can do here. Stay tuned, let's get into some fishing. That water clarity right now is beautiful. Look at that. You can see the entire trolling motor down there. That is awesome. That's what we want. Now what I'm throwing today is a mirror lure twitch bait here. This is a Miradeen. It's a shallow water twitch bait. Since that water's really clear, I have 10 pound Yozuri fluorocarbon here as my leader. And I'm throwing this on my Pen Clash 2 4000, 20 pound Yozuri Super Braid here, and then a seven and a half foot medium fast action St. Croix Avidential Rod. I'm gonna get the Minn Kota pointed into this current here, and we're gonna cast up current here. And then these mirror dunes are really easy to work. I kind of like to work them fast when the water's warm, which it is right now. You don't have to make it super complicated. Just give it a twitch every now and then, give it a couple pauses every now and then all the way back to you. I like to throw up current so that bait's swept naturally down current and see their mullet just jump. We're gonna keep on working this area and see if we can find us some fish. These mirror lures cast really good. Between Yoziri and mirror lure, those are my two favorite hard baits to use. They have excellent colors, good action, and good hooks on them. Oh, there's a fish already. Ah, got one. All right, heck yeah, see what you are. Ah, uh, ooh, what is that? Might be a lizard fish. Is that a lizard? No, it's a speck. It's a speckled trout. I don't think it's gonna be a keeper, but I'm gonna anchor right here. Ah, uh, beautiful speckled trout. These speckled trout have to be 15 inches in the state of Alabama. You can tell I really like that mirrodeen. But this one's not a keeper, so we're gonna let it go. But on the mirrodeen. There you go. Let you swim away. Heck yeah. First fish on the Miradine today. Heck yeah. See if we can get another one. Usually where you catch one trout, they're gonna be more hanging around. But that size wasn't really a keeper. A little juvenile trout. So like I said, they gotta be 15 inches in the state of Alabama. Oh, there's a fish. Ah, good one. Let's see what you are. Come on. Let's see what you are, buddy. Decent little. Oh, got some weight to it. I'll tell you that. Oh man, that's a. Holy crap, that's a stud trout. That is a stud trout, and I need to get my net. Oh. <laughs> Come on, trout. Ah, got it. <laughs> That's a keeper. And my phone's everything happens at once. <laughs> All right, I just caught a beautiful 21 inch speckled trout. Check that out. Heck yeah. All right, I just got this beautiful speckled trout on that mirrodine there. So I'm gonna cast out. I gotta retie my leader, it's a little frayed. But I'm gonna cast back out and try to get another one. That's a perfect speck. He's gonna go on ice. All right, I just caught that beautiful trout. There's bait blowing up everywhere. So I'm gonna cast back out. If I can get something here. Oh, there's a fish. Come on. Ah. Oh, yeah. Good one. Good one. Good one. Mm, come on. Good fish. Don't jump. Ah, snagged a jack. <laughs> All right, just snagged a little jack here. That's a juvenile Jack Creval. <laughs> You've seen me catch these before. A lot bigger than this. It's kind of cool how big they can grow and how powerful these fish are. So I definitely snagged them, but that's what's chasing bait out here along with these specks. Let him go. There we go. I'm telling you, everything loves a mirror lure, mirrodine. So I'm gonna cast it back out, see what else we can get. Oh, there's a fish. Ah, it came off. Come on. Oh, it's back on. <laughs> All right, let's see. And with these mirror lures, you don't have to do an insane 
hook set like on freaking bass. All you got to do, there's another miniature Jack Craval. Those are funny. <laughs> he tried to eat it. But all you do is a sweep. You sweep your rod to, to set the hook. So all I did, when you set, the, when you get a bite, don't sit there and jerk it like a bass, like you're fishing an artificial worm or something. Sit there and sweep your rod and then put some pressure on it by starting to reel. The way this bait's designed, if you sit there and jerk it like a bass to do a huge hook set, you're gonna miss the majority of the fish that you catch. Let's cast it back out. See if we can get something other than a jack. Oh, there's a good one. Uh, let's see what you are. Uh, I bet it's another jack if I was to guess the way it's pulling, but it might be a little trout, who knows? But it's some solid oh that's a, that's a nice little trout all right all right he ain't gonna be a keeper but it's a fish and he's drumming if you didn't know already speckled trout are actually in the drum family so they're related more to a red fish or a red drum than they are like a brook trout or brown trout so i don't know if you can hear it drumming but we're gonna let them go ah, there you go swim free another day Jackson trout. Not going to complain about that, especially with one for dinner. Oh, trout just right at the boat. There's two of them. He's barely hooked. Barely hooked. Right at the boat. Another beautiful trout on the Miradine. Time to get this one back. He had like three others with that. That's pretty cool. There you go. Swim away. Golly, dude. Check out that freaking trout. Holy crap. That's a freaking stud trout. Come on. Woo. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, buddy. Mm. Heck yeah, man. All right, just caught that stud trout on that Miradine. I'm going to call it 20 inches. I'm not pinching down the tail. If I pinch the tail, he would reach that pretty much 19 and three quarter mark. So that's pretty much a 20 inch fish. What a beautiful speckled trout, man. Heck yeah, just within the slot limit. Perfect fish. Got two beautiful speckled trout. Heck yeah, these are going to go in the cooler. All right, I have two keeper trout. What beautiful fish All on that one, Miradine. Heck yeah. I'm going to go on ice and that's going to be dinner. All right, it's the next day. I kept these buried in a nice ice brine so they're still nice and cold and firm meat. These are two beautiful slot trout here, but I'm going to bake these, so I'm not going to flay them. I'm going to end up scaling these fish, cutting the head and degutting it and all that and pretty much just fill dressing it so I can go and bake them whole. So I don't waste any meat and I love speckled trout this way. Something about the texture of the meat's really nice when it's baked, it doesn't dry out. All I'm gonna do is scale these fish. I'm gonna take the back of my Dexter filet knife and just run it just like that and scale these fish. Really easy to scale. There's different ways to do it. This is the way I do it, it's easy. Okay, now that I got both of these scaled, go behind their fin and cut this heads off on both of them. Now here's the finished product for obvious reasons. I didn't show gutting this fish, but I cut the head off. I gutted this fish out. Now I have a whole piece of fish with no head, no scales, and no guts in there. But there's a beautiful piece of meat ready to be seasoned and prepped for the oven. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this one and we'll go upstairs and start cooking. I got two pieces of nice speckled trout here. And what I'm gonna do is get it ready to bake. So I'm gonna score it. And all scoring does is opens up the meat so it cooks more evenly and your seasoning and your spices and stuff can get down in the meat. So all you do is go diagonal and then I do a cross hatch. Just like that. And you're gonna do the same on both sides. And that is a scored fish. So you see it's opened up cross hatch. So you put your seasoning all down in there, your butter, and it cooks a lot more even too. So we're gonna do both sides and both fish. All right, I have my speckled trout filet. This is gonna be something quick and easy. Have some chopped up cilantro, some lemon, chopped butter. Chef Paul's as always. This is a mix of mashed garlic, some lemon squeezed in there, uh, one mint leaf, and then some olive oil. And I'm gonna take this mix and spread it on this fish. I've got the oven heated up. It's already ready to go at 350 degrees. I already sprayed this with some nonstick coating and aluminum foil. I'm gonna coat my fish with this mix of garlic and lemon and then stack some butter up in there and then we'll throw it in the oven. Hmm. You wanna get in between the folds of the skin here. That's why I scored it. To get in between all the folds. 
of the skin. You get all the flavor and more consistent cooking. I've already done the bottom side of it because we're not going to flip the fish, so I just have to do this side here. And then I'm going to take my Chef Paul's here. Seafood Magic is my favorite stuff. You see me use a lot. Get this trout here. Pretty seasoned. You want it. You want some good seasoning on there. You can put as much or as little as you really like. This is just a very informal, simple, and quick, because I'm hungry, type of meal. And then I'm going to take my butter and fill up inside the fish with the butter. And stick some on top. Just like that. Same thing here. And then we'll save the lemon and cilantro for when it's done. All right, I set some more butter in the middle. Just a couple tablespoons in the middle. And this is ready to go. It's very simple. Got my oven ready. Gonna put it on the middle rack. Look at that beautiful trout right there. Ready to go. Put that on the middle rack right there for 25 minutes. We're gonna set a timer and then we'll come back in 25 minutes and it should be done. Okay, it's been 25 minutes. Our oven's going off, smells pretty good and it's time to pull our speckled trout out. So. All right, look at that fish, man. And that's all buttery goodness right there. All right, this trout is looking beautiful. That meat is perfectly white, and that cook time's awesome. So I'm gonna take all this melted butter. I don't have a brush, otherwise I would use a brush. I'm gonna take some of this melted butter and re-drizzle it on top here. You wanna do this while it's still hot. It's buttery garlic goodness here. I'm gonna take my cut cilantro here, and if you have green chilies, which I don't right now, but some green chilies would be really good. Chop cilantro over the fish just for some added garnish and flavor. All right, I'm gonna squeeze my lemon on here. Beautiful fish, look at that. Smells delicious with that Chef Paul's and that garlic. Can't go wrong. Take my other half of my lemon and squeeze it on there. Try not to get the seeds in there. If you do, you can just pick them out. Look at that. Man, that looks good. I'm not gonna worry about any fancy presentation or nothing, but this would look good served in a restaurant. And all you do is peel back the skin and eat the meat. It's really easy, so I'll show you. First off, you wanna let it cool down, but all you do to eat this is if it's cooked right, that skin will peel right off, revealing a beautiful piece of meat. I got this delicious looking piece of speckled trout here. It's cooled down enough for me to try some. It smells delicious, so I wanna eat some, give a bite on camera, and then I wanna eat the rest of that because I'm starving. But that is a very white, flaky meat. Speckled trout or spotted sea trout is is delicious when cooked fresh. Anytime you're eating whole fish, there's bones in there, so you wanna watch for bones. But let's go ahead and try a bite. Mmm. Man, that is super, super tender meat. Flaky and not dried out at all. And that is the key, is to not have dried out fish. That is perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat another bite. All you do is peel that skin off. Get you a piece off the bone. Get some of that cilantro in there. Maybe dip it in that butter and garlic. Here's another bite. That's actually probably some of the best tasting speckled trout I've ever done. Beats frying any day. Don't get me wrong, I love fried fish. But it's nice to change it up every now and then. I love fried fish, don't get me wrong. But that is freaking delicious and something different. So. I'm gonna keep on eating this fish. It can be messy, and you do wanna watch for bones when you do it this way, but this is probably one of the simplest and easiest ways. You don't have to go fillet the fish or get the skin off. You just chop the head off, get the guts out, have it gleaned and scaled, and it is delicious. But I appreciate you for watching. I appreciate you for subscribing and getting me to this point in subscribers. And I look forward to making many more videos. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I really appreciate it. it allows you to keep up with some great, fun, entertaining content. And if you like this recipe, go ahead and like that video. It's that thumbs up below this video. But we'll see you on the next episode. Don't forget to go check out my social media pages, Bama Saltwater on Facebook and Instagram, and Bama underscore saltwater on TikTok. I want to thank the good Lord up for everything he does for us. We'll see you later. Get that. It's freaking hot. Ow! <laughs> it's smoking. Look at my oven mitt. It's smoking. <laughs> my oven mitt is smoking right now. <laughs> look, look at that. Ooh. Ah.
That's beautiful.